Spider-Man is about to fight the Avengers. Guys, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're being mind-controlled, all right? You see, Spider-Man has a thing called Resequencer, and it's supposed to make Avengers normal again. But the problem is the Avengers themselves thing, that Spider-Man is the one being mind-controlled. There's this guy, he calls himself the Grand Manipulator, and he's behind this whole thing. Do you remember yesterday? The big fight in the warehouse? That's when he got you. But I have a buddy at the university just waiting to deactivate this and free your minds. And then we can all be friends again. Wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't that be cool? That sounds like a great idea, Spider-Man. We're all in favor of resolving this without anyone getting hurt. Except it's not us who are being mind-controlled, it's you! Yeah, it's just... Isn't that something a mind-controlled person would say? Thor then explains to Spider-Man that if his friend deactivates the thing improperly, it will scramble the minds of every person in New York City. Spider-Man doesn't care what Thor says, since his mind is controlled, so he understands one thing. We're not going to get through this without a fight, are we? Please, I don't want to fight the Avengers. I'll probably lose. Yeah, you probably will. But with no options left, Spider-Man decides to... Fight. Man, this sucks! Tony! On it! Iron Man tries to attack Spider-Man, but in a second, Spider-Man shorts his armor. Come on, come on, come on! Tony! He shorted out my armor! I'm good, I just... How the hell did he do that? Spider-Man is a highly intelligent individual. No offense, but there are some things you just can beat, no matter the intelligence. Like a good right cross! Damn it! Spider-Man manages to avoid the punch, but then... Captain Marvel grabs him. Don't worry, Jen, I've got him. Spidey, I'm gonna need you to give me the resequencer. But Spider-Man outsmarts her too. I'm really sorry about this, Carol. Sorry about what? Try not to panic. That weapon will dissolve in less than 60 seconds, I promise. Spider-Man then goes to a building where he meets Blade. Blade. Spider-Man. I have to get past you. You know that, right? I know you gotta try. <laughs> okay. Bouncy bitch, ain't you? I can be. Let's see you bounce around now. Bouncing around is only part of what I do. We don't want to hurt you, Spider-Man. Captain America appears and puts Spider-Man in a rear naked choke. Please believe us, son. We're not the bad guys. You are, Cap. You just don't know it. Captain America finally grabs Spider-Man's bag, but he sees that there is no resequencer there. Spider-Man once again outsmarted the Avengers. He then throws a web grenade and traps everyone. Then he quickly leaves, but meets Thor. Hello again, Spider-Man. Yikes! But once again, his quick thinking saves him. Hi, Thor. Bye, Thor. Where is he? Anyone see him? The chase around the city continues until Iron Man finally catches Spider-Man. Please don't run. I will blast you. Nifty little gadget. You like it? I wanted to make a little spider out of it, but I didn't get the chance. Maybe next time, huh? There won't be a next time, Spidey. My armor's already adapted to what it did. Yeah, I figured. Incongruity detected. Excuse me a moment. Thor then asks Spider-Man to finally give them the contraption, and Spider-Man does. But once again... You surrendered this with suspicious ease. Did I? He switched it. Where's the real resequencer, Spider-Man? Sorry, guys. I knew you would stop me. You see, all of this fighting was just a plan. A plan to buy more time. I just had to keep you distracted long enough. For the delivery guy. Captain Marvel and Iron Man take off instantly. I'm picking up the resequencer's energy signature. It's been activated. If we don't get to it in time. Not yet, not yet. There, it's deactivated. But they don't make it in time. Uh, how's everyone feeling? I think I'm fine. I'm feeling okay. Our minds have not been scrambled? I told you, you were being mind-controlled. It's all part of an elaborate plan to- No, Spider-Man. After all of this, we get another surprise. Because Iron Man explains to Spider-Man that it's not only them that were mind-controlled, it's him too. This is yesterday's CCTV footage from the warehouse. My suit automatically downloaded it as we fought. What? But that's not how it happened. It wasn't me who collapsed, it was- This is footage my suit remotely downloaded from the same server a few minutes ago. That's what happened, see? So the first bit of footage is fake, right? Both are authentic. Both have the same timestamp. Her memories have been altered again. But in this instance, there are two distinct strands of reality. 
coexisting within the same timeline. How is something like that even possible? Two strands of reality, both equally valid. Is that by design or by mistake? While the Avengers try to understand what's going on, we hear a voice. I assure you, Spider-Man, it's by design. Professor Crassus Samuel? Samuel Crassus doesn't exist. Or at least he didn't before yesterday. Uh, what are you talking about? We've been to friends for... You! You are the Grand Manipulator. Only instead of minds, you manipulate reality. Manipulate? Ha! I tear reality asunder! You were the one behind all of these fabricated memories and timelines. Why? I needed you distracted. Off balance. Whenever you got too close to discovering my plans, I changed history to set you on the wrong path. You have been disappointingly easy to lead astray, might I add. I expected more from such luminaries as yourselves. Then... Who are you? I'm a man of two minds, Captain. One mind is human, an unrecognized genius. The other is alien, an explorer through dimensions who brought with it gifts of insight no mortal being could possibly comprehend. And now, with the resequencer finally back in my possession, I will reshape this world into my own. Wait! What's happening? The resequencer! Yeah, about that. My memories of our friendship just didn't ring all that true, so I took another look at the gizmo and made some adjustments, just in case. Hope you don't mind, buddy. No! What did you do?! No! I have to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. It seems that the threat has finally been dealt with, so Spider-Man apologizes to everyone for fighting them. It's okay, Spidey. We're sorry, too. Cool. Thanks. Um, sorry about the, you know. Yeah. But then we hear a voice, and it seems this mysterious voice was observing Spider-Man the whole time. That worked out rather well, I think. Spider-Man is amazing. Spider-Man is spectacular. Spider-Man knows that out there. In the streets, he's vulnerable. But in an enclosed space where the flyers can't fly and the gods can't simply snatch him out of the air as he swings, in an enclosed space he's unstoppable. I hate to see this. Hero battling hero. Friend fighting friend. It is sadly necessary. The threat this world, this universe faces, could burn the very atoms that make it up. I wish I could offer solid concrete help, but I can only nudge. I can only guide. They were just getting a little too close. I need them to figure it out. Sure, but on my time, jumping ahead of my schedule could ruin everything. But I think this will do it. I just have to be more careful in the future. More subtle. These are smart people after all, for humans. Hello? Uh, what? I know you're there. I can't see you. But sometimes I think I can feel you. I know you're watching. Ah, uh, who's he talking to? What's he doing? This was clever, giving us a bad guy. A new villain who can take all the blame. You couldn't have us asking too many more questions, could you? Who knows where all that speculation might have led us. Oh, no, no, no. So you gave us the Grand Manipulator, and immediately, the possibilities narrowed. But it was too little, too late. You'd already made your mistakes. Why was that? The longer it went on, the more you had to change, the harder it was to maintain control. Is that it? Or did you just get sloppy? I have to fix this. I have to... You're listening to me. You're paying attention. If I were Emma Frost or Charles Xavier, I might even be able to see you right now. But I don't need psychic powers to recognize your power. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! And I'm coming for you, Beyonder. <laughs> 